Nibbles the Clown is a new for 2024 Spirit of Halloween animatronic. For everything scary, I'm GM Horns. And I am ending the voiceover right there because if you've been watching my Halloween 2024 unboxing so far, I normally talk about the prop in the beginning, but this video, this unboxing right here, I want to post as soon as possible. So we're going to end the voiceover right there because this is the Spirit Halloween 2024 Nibbles the Clown animatronic. I picked this guy up two days ago on August 1st at the Spirit Halloween flagship store grand opening. He's a very special animatronic. He only released online today. And for that reason, I want to post the video as soon as possible. I'm super excited for this. I do want to give a big thank you to Golden Embers and Ryan's Haunts for helping me pick up this animatronic at flagship. Because as you can see, I was 166 online and without their help, I could not get this animatronic. So a huge thank you out to Golden Embers, and Ryan's Haunt. As you can see, Nibbles has a pretty small box. It definitely isn't very large. He's manufactured by SVI. And obviously the main feature of this animatronic is what it says at the top right here. Head follows your movement with motion tracking sensor technology. I saw this guy at flagship, obviously, and it is so awesome how he literally follows your movement walking side to side. And that's why I am so excited to open him up and see it up close. This side of the box has two photos of him. Uh, one kind of like, well, both of them are close-ups uh, of his head and kind of like above the waist. The back just says Nibbles the Clown and his backstory. And then this side over here has that same stock photo that is on the front. I do want to point out, I got the blue tape on there with my number 166 as I did hold him behind the counter. Always nice to have animatronics that have the blue tape on them because they mean that they did come from flagship. All right, so I am not going to waste any more time. I want to crack this guy open so badly. And I am so excited to see him up close. So here is our first look into the box. And this is very interesting. These are actually not instructions. These give an explanation as to how the motion tracking actually works. So as you can see, it says Nibbles the Clown motion tracking technology. I'm not going to read all of it, but it basically says this prop tor uh, turns toward people as they walk past using face and body tracking technology. This animated prop may respond to any object shaped like a human body. For best results, display away from furniture or other decor, including animated or still props. And then it goes on to explain just different ways that the technology works and how to maximize um, the animation and really make sure it looks good. So I love this piece. In here, we're going to have the head. So I guess we should open it up. All right, so I've gotten the little package open that contains the head and the hat, the kind of jester hat that Nibbles has. So these actually are real bells. I figured that out at flagship, as you can see. They're pretty loud. They are real metal, which I think is awesome. And it's kind of just like a standard clothing material. Here we have the adapter actually in the box with the head. So that's interesting. All right, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go. The best piece of Nibbles, his head. And this thing looks awesome. It is a latex head, um, typical for an SVI clown animatronic. And you can see in the nose where the motion tracking uh, sensor is. That is not just a, like an activation sensor, that is the motion tracking sensor so that he can kind of move side to side and watch where you are. This thing looks awesome. I love the yellow eyes. They look really cool, all the face paint on there. And then of course you have all the Velcro spots um, to attach his hat on. This looks really cool. So here's Nibble's head. I do want to point this out. That's what the connection looks like to go onto the body which is really interesting. It's similar to a servo, um, which allows it to kind of move side to side, but really interesting piece. So here's Nibble's head. Here we have one piece of leg styrofoam and it looks like one of his arms. Here we have the other leg and the other arm. Here we have a great piece of Nibble's the Clown and this is the hand that is holding the lollipop. And the hand is actually a very nice plastic material. I'll give you a close up of his lollipop. Obviously it has a little bite taken out of it, um, which is why his name is Nibble's. Very nice coloring of there. Some blues and greens, yellows, reds, like a very colorful lollipop. And the hand sculpt looks nice as well. So here's the lollipop. Here we have Nibbles shoes. And these are the typical SVI clown shoe sculpts. Um, they do feel a little bit different than normal shoes. Not sure exactly what it is. The material feels slightly different. A little bit higher quality, I feel like, than normal. But they are a red color. Here we have the waist piece that already has a waist loop uh, welded on there and his other hand. And again, this is a very nice thick material. You can see the sculpt on there with the gray color. It even has some veins sculpted in, so nice pieces. 
Here we have the torso piece with the control box. This looks pretty standard um, for an SVI animatronic. You can see a mechanism in there for the arm movement, uh, but the control box is already on there. So here's the module. Next up, we have the clothing bag, and this is probably a back piece, I'm going to guess, to kind of make it look like he has a spine. And then you can also see his clothing with the red pom-poms and the yellow stripes. And then finally, the very last pieces in the box are this bag with a bunch of support poles and, of course, his base, which looks very, very standard for an SEI prop. All right, so we have all the pieces taken out of the box for Nibbles the Clown, and we can now begin the setup. For your first step, obviously, you're going to lay the base down on the ground, and now we can take the two lower support poles that are labeled as B. They are the two straight ones that have no bends in them, and we're simply going to snap lock them on to the base at the very bottom, making sure they go through just like that. Now we can take Nibble's shoes and add these on and they are the exact same piece. So it doesn't matter which one goes on the right or left and slide them on like that. Now we're gonna take the two upper support poles that are labeled as C and simply snap lock these on to the B poles just like so. And once again, they are the same exact piece. They're both labeled as C. So it doesn't matter which one goes on the right or left and snap lock them on. Now we're going to take the two leg foam pieces. I already attached this one and you're just going to slide it right over top of the leg poles that we just created. And there actually is a little cut in the back of them so that the poles can slide through easily. Now you can open the clothing bag and take out his pants and simply slide these over the leg foam in the stock photos. Um, the stripes go on this side over here. So I'm going to do it just like it is in the stock images. So simply slide the pants right over top of the leg foam and then of course pull it down all the way to the bottom of the shoes here technically you could probably flip the pants if you wanted the stripes to be on the other side i don't, I don't really know why you would want to do that but a, perhaps that would be an option if you would like it and then push the pants down here so that the poles are accessible now we're going to take the waist piece that already has the waist loop attached and this is labeled as d and you're simply going to snap lock this right onto the leg poles that we constructed before. You may have to push on it a little bit to get these to line up properly. After you've done that, you can of course pull up the pants over the waist loop so that they are on like that. Now we're gonna take Nibble's shirt and this goes right over top of everything that we constructed. A Little bit of an odd step. Normally with props like this, you would put this on after you already added the torso piece. So I'm not really sure why uh, Nibble's is like this, but that's what the instruction says to do. So put the shirt over like that. Now we can go ahead and add on the main torso piece with the control box on it and simply snap lock it on. This is also when I'll go ahead and attach the adapter. So just plug the adapter right into the control box. And then the way I do this is slide it through the pant leg so that it goes all the way down to the bottom. You could of course just have it run uh, out the back, but I prefer to have it go down the pant leg so the wire is hidden. Now we're going to take the piece that is labeled as J, and this is Nibble's left arm. So simply open up his uh, left sleeve here, put it right over top of the styrofoam. It has an elastic on there, so it's a little bit tricky to do. And slide it right up through his sleeve, all the way up to the shoulder bracket, which is where we will connect the arm. Now we're also going to attach the hand that is holding the lollipop. This simply slides right into the bracket. Coming from the arm piece, there is no cotter pin for this, um, so nothing like that. So slide the sleeve right over it, over his wrist, so it looks like he's wearing his shirt, just like that. Now we're going to take the other arm piece that is labeled as K and slide it right up through the sleeve and into the shoulder bracket. This actually does have a cotter pin that should come already attached to the arm. So take it off of the arm piece and then slide it right through the drilled hole. Uh, once it's on the shoulder bracket and this will secure the arm to the shoulder frame. Of course, you can also adjust the sleeve. Now we'll attach Nibble's other hand, which simply slides into the bracket coming from the arm and then slide the sleeve over his hand so that it looks exactly how you'd like and that he's actually wearing his shirt. Now we can grab Nibble's head and attach this to the main connection that is on the shoulder frame and this is a snap lock connection. So just push the snap lock in and snap lock the head on. Now we're going to attach all of the wires that are coming from the head and it looks like there are three of them. So simply uh, match all of the colors of the wires coming from the head and attach these to the ones coming from the control box. Now we can attach the spine piece that is labeled as F and this is simply going to slide onto the bracket that is on the very back of the whole uh, shoulder frame. 
and you can also go ahead now and velcro the shirt on the back now we can velcro on uh, nibbles neck collar the ruffles so simply attach them to the velcro strips that are on the head and attach the two that are on the back of the collar itself and of course you can adjust it how you'd like finally we're going to velcro on nibbles hat and this has three velcro spots that are on the head itself this is a little bit tricky because the hat is pretty small to fit over the entire head so that it actually looks like it's like tightly fit over him so you can adjust this how you'd like but just make sure that all of the velcro strips are attached so that the hat will stay on once you've attached the hat you are now officially finished with the setup of nibbles the clown and of course you can adjust his clothing however you want him to look all right so here he is the spirit of halloween 2024 nibbles the clown animatronic assembled in all of his glory but before i give you my thoughts on him let's take a look at the demos i see you you can't escape my gaze so why don't you come a little closer and let's play a game <laughs> If you win, you'll get a prize. If you lose, well, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> I've been watching you for a while now. I hope you don't mind. I like the way you walk. I can't help but follow you around with my gaze. You have a certain bounce in your step that's just so enticing. Mind if I follow you around for a bit longer? <laughs> well, well, well. You've caught my eye. Don't worry, I'm just admiring your costume. <laughs> hey, you over there. Yeah, you. I'm giving out some candy. I thought this would be a great way to make some friends. So come a little closer and try to take some. What do you say? <laughs> I'm harmless, mostly. <laughs> All right, so you just saw the demos for my Spira Halloween 2024 Nibbles the Clown animatronic. And overall, I think this guy is sort of the definition of a revolutionary animatronic. Now, I'm going to say right now, I haven't played that much around with the motion tracking technology so far. But based off what I have done with him, it seems like it works pretty darn good when one person is standing in front of him. Obviously, as you move back and forth, the head follows you from left to right. And it goes to around where his arm is. Obviously, it does not do a full 360 because the chin does get stuck on the shoulder frame. But you basically have like the full front of the body up to where the arms end and it really is awesome and really bizarre that's the only way i could describe it we have never ever in the retail market seen an animatronic like this one that literally follows your movement it is so incredibly awesome and a super innovative animation from both spirit and svi his manufacturer for 2024 this guy's look is pretty simple. He's meant to be a jester animatronic, and I really don't think the look needs to be super impressive because obviously the animation is the main selling point for Nibbles. However, I like his color scheme with the dark colors and the yellow stripes. I love how the lollipop is the brightest thing about him because your eye gets drawn right to it. And I also really enjoy how his eyes have that awesome popping yellow color with some red makeup and some black makeup. I think it looks really, really good. And I love that he is a jester because we really haven't seen many jesters in the retail market. So it does make him unique enough that he's interesting, but also not super, super impressive because that animation is the main selling point. Really, my only gripe with Nibbles the Clown is his height. I would say that he's a little bit short for a clown animatronic. As you can see, I'm almost the exact same height as him. However, I understand why he's this tall, because obviously, like I pointed out in the beginning, that motion tracking sensor is right in his nose. And if it was any taller, he may not be able to track people as well. And people who are really short, he wouldn't even see them at all. So I understand why he's at this height, just to maximize that motion tracking technology and make sure that it works for as many people as possible. However, I'd like if he was just a little bit taller. 
Nibbles the Clown is retailing for $299, 300 United States dollars at Spira Halloween for the 2024 season. And overall, I do not think that is a bad price at all. Because like I said, this is the first time ever that we are seeing an animatronic with motion tracking sensor technology. He is an innovative and revolutionary item for 2024. So 300 bucks. Of course, you can also use a coupon, which is what I did at the Spirit flagship store. And 20% off gives you a very, very good discount for or nibbles the clown and once you have this guy you're going to be playing with him a ton moving back and forth and watching as he follows you from side to side he's a lot of uh, he's a very fun animatronic and that animation is super fun to test with and experiment moving side to side but overall, super happy with this piece. I think he's an awesome clown animatronic and such a cool use of brand new technology from Seasonal Visions and sold at Spira Halloween for this season. I very much hope that we see more motion tracking animatronics coming in the future. And there are so many concepts that I feel like would fit the animation and the technology so well. And I think that Nibbles was the perfect animatronic to start it all. But I guess... Remember, as always, for everything scary, I'm GM Haunts. I'll see you guys later for more Halloween 2024 animatronic unboxings. Goodbye.